We are going to have more analysis on that stimulus package with Shihoko Goto. She is the Northeast Asia Program Associate at the Wilson Center, which is an independent research center here in Washington, D.C. Thank you very much for coming on the show. And I want to start by asking you, this stimulus package, group of plans aimed to stimulate the economy in Japan, it's not the first time that uh, they've come up with this. What makes this different than all the other plans they've had in the past? Well, I think, um, first of all, this plan has obviously had some um, very great benefits in the near, um, in the short term. We look at the stock market today, it's at a two-year high. The yen is finally um, depreciating against the dollar, which is great news for Japanese exporters for the first time in its, at its lowest level in two years. So these are both very welcome things, and it's a, it's a, it's a huge plus for Prime Minister Abe. Um, the problem, though, is what does this lead to in the longer term? And we talk about um, there are three there are three components to the stimulus package, one of which will um, help Japan recover from its economic devastation post earthquake. Um, it will also help the private sector grow, and it will also help um, uh, social benefits to support the elderly and childcare and educational facilities. These are great things for the Japanese economy, but it isn't, it is, what does it mean for, can Japan actually afford to do this at this time? The past stimulus packages have also come at great cost. This is going to cost the Jap Japanese taxpayers a huge amount of money in the cost of deficit are, bonds. Are you, are you, I mean, the, the other part of the question was the timing of all this, and you're, you're right. sort of leading into it. Do right. you think this is the right time for the stimulus package, or was it contemplated perhaps a different package at a different time? Well, it's certainly a great time for Prime Minister Abe. Um, he's, he's in a very strong position at the moment with two-thirds majority in the lower house. The upper house election is coming up in June, and so by saying that he is a strong leader, able to lead Japan finally out of its economic doldrums for the first time in 20 years, he will be able to position himself um, to do other things, more controversial issues. So the timing for him is good. Can Japan actually afford to do this at this time? Is this the right move to take in, in Japan's very critical economic juncture? That remains to be seen, and I think the more serious economists are having serious doubts about it already. Um, what I believe that Japan should be doing, instead of trying to spend its way out of an economic recession that has gone on for two decades, is really go for structural reform. It really needs to address what is ailing the Japanese economy. Well, I mean, this is a, a, a primary question in Japan, China, the United States, these are the top three economies basically in the world. Mm -hmm. um, no disrespect to what's happening in Europe. But a lot of folks question, and they keep asking themselves, over the past decade and a half, Japan has been sort of the success but also failure in terms of economic model because they haven't been able to get the engine back up and running again. Right. In your opinion, what's wrong with the Japanese economy and why is it taking this long? And still to date, we're still talking about stimulus packages 10, 15 years later. Right. Well, one is obviously a lack of political leadership. Japan has had seven prime ministers in seven years. That is unheard of in a, in a modern economy, uh, in a modern industrialized economy today. What Prime Minister Abe is trying to do by having this package forward is to say that he is finally here to stay. He is not going to be kicked out after 11 months, that he will be able to, once this package is put through, he will be able to follow through on his foreign policy directives and other issues. Will he be able to do that? Um, that remains to be seen. I'm going to have to stop you there. Shihoko Goto, thank you very much from the Wilson Center. We're going to have much more on this topic later on. But again, thank you for your time and analysis. Thank you very much.